Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS content property. CSS content property is used to generate content dynamically at runtime. CSS content property is used to generate content before or after the content of HTML elements. To the CSS content property, we can assign various values. We can assign a string. String means sequence of characters enclosed in double quotations. We can also assign predefined values like open quote, close quote, etc. We can also assign URL of a resource. It may be an image, etc. Let's see the demonstration. You can see here, I have the notepad. Already I have opened default.html in the notepad. It has basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. Within the head section, I have already written opening style tag and closing style tag. You can see here in the browser, I have opened default.html. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to the notepad in the body section. I say here, hello, HTML exclamation mark. Then I say BR. I'm going to copy that and paste it few times. Three, four, file, save. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that hello HTML exclamation mark got displayed four times. How do I display double quotations around this HTML exclamation mark? The first HTML exclamation mark should be enclosed in between double quotations. We can take help of HTML Q tag. Before this H, I am going to say opening Q tag. After the exclamation mark, I say closing Q tag. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that HTML exclamation mark is enclosed in between double quotations. Before the H, we have opening quote. After the exclamation mark, we have closing quote. Same thing I want to do to the second HTML exclamation mark also, but I do not want to use the HTML Q tag. This time, I am going to take help of CSS content property to generate open quote and close quote. Let me go to the notepad. Here, before the H, I say opening span tag. After the exclamation mark, I say closing span tag. And I use a class attribute. I say here display quotes class attribute value. I am going to copy this display quotes class attribute value. I go to the style. I say dot display quotes colon colon before opening flower bracket, closing flower bracket. Then I say content open dash quote semicolon file save what i am telling to the browser generate this content called as open quote before the content of any html element whose class attribute value is set to display quotes file save go to browser and refresh you can see that open quote is displayed before the html exclamation mark now what i do i am going to copy this code from here paste it down i say here after here i say close code. What I am telling to the browser? Generate this content called as close code after any HTML element whose class attribute value is set to display quotes. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that closing code is displayed after the exclamation mark. Now we have generated the open code and close code dynamically, right? We can also use the content property with a string value. Let me demonstrate that here. I'm going to say here opening span tag and then I say here closing span tag. Here I say class. I say display string some class attribute value display string. I'm going to copy that and I say here dot display string opening floor bracket closing floor bracket. Here I say content colon. I say in double quotations hello and then I say semicolon. Here I say colon colon before. Here I give one space also. What I am telling to the browser? Generate this content called as hello space before any HTML element whose class attribute value is set to display string. So this HTML element class attribute value is set to display string. Before this content that is HTML exclamation mark, it displays hello space. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that hello is generated. Now we have hello, hello, HTML exclamation mark, right? Similarly, I can say after also by using the after file, save, go to browser and refresh. Now we have hello, HTML exclamation mark, hello. There is no space in between. You can see you can add the space by adding space here. You can remove this space if you want. 
file save go to browser and refresh right we have generated a string called as hello similarly i may be interested to generate one image here after this html exclamation mark you can see here at the desktop i have bullet dot uh, maybe it's a png file properties yes it's a png file you can see bullet dot png i go here to the notepad here i say span again i say class attribute value set to display image then i say say greater than here i say closing span tag i am going to copy this display image class attribute value i say here dot display image opening flower bracket closing flower bracket i say here content and then i use the function called as url in double quotations i am going to give the file path that is just a file name bullet dot png and then i say here double colons and then i say after what i am telling to the browser locate any html element in this page if it has the class attribute value set to display image after its content generate content bullet dot png file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the image got displayed not only you can display the image you can perform a lot of styling things maybe i can assign some margin i can say margin dash left of 10 pixels margin left file save go to browser and refresh you can see that some margin is added that is how you can use the css content property to generate different content i suggest you people to have a look on css property online get some more information for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial